What's up, everybody? Well, I got another Azu G15 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today, and today we are going to check out Sandland again. We tried it out on the Steam Deck and the Ally and the Mini PC, and they all played it all right. Although to get 60 FPS, pretty much all of them had to do the lowest settings possible at 720p. But at least it was playable on them all. Although they still all had some drops here and there, but still more than playable. And then for the people who don't care about 60 FPS, you could even turn the graphics up a little. Most of them stayed at over 30 FPS, I believe, the whole time, even while recording. So I'm willing to bet this guy should be able to do you know maxed out or at least high settings i'll have to see what it can do and we'll go from there we're basically going to test this game on all the set on the systems today we're going to start on the asus and then i'm going to go all the way up to my tv pc and we'll just see how all of them handle this game surprisingly no i thought this game was going to run flawlessly on the steam deck and the ally you know basically close to maxed out high settings since it was just a kind of cell shaded anime style game but sometimes those cell shaded anime style games are harder to run than they look so let's go see how the asus g50 advantage does at 1080p here and then in the next video we'll try out some 14 40, but let's not waste any more time. Let's get ourselves into that game. All right, here's the settings we're going to go with. At least for 1080p here, just going to max the game out. I think it should be able to handle it. Though there are certain spots that just stutters, it seems, like on everything. At least it did on all the mini PC and the Steam Deck and the Ally. So I feel like it will do it here too. And if I remember correctly, it does. But let's go find out. All right, here we go. Beginning of the game. We did it down, down to 61 for a second there. But it seems like most of the time we're in the hundreds. Nope, we don't want to let you play. Wow, it dropped all the way down to 52 for a second there. See, that's that giant lag spike that seems to happen on everything. But it seems like the majority of the time, though, we get this, and it's pretty damn smooth. It has a little stutter every now and again. Heck, to be perfectly honest, it seemed like the Azu G15 Advantage did the best for frame times out of everything. Probably with the secondary computer coming in second, TV PC coming in third, and then the main PC coming in fourth. The Alienware did the worst as far as stutter went. It did alright after I did a bunch of like restarting the game and whatnot, but that's no fun if you have to do all that. And who knows, it might have freaking went right back to like 40 FPS after like me playing five, six minutes again. Who knows? I only played for like two minutes. Now see, it still has little stutters like that. But for the most part, it seems relatively smooth. But then there's spots like that that just seem to happen. And it is an Unreal Engine game, so like no matter what, you're going to have some instances of stutter here and there. Alright, let's kick these guys' asses. Oh, and it's like, it seems like the GPU is being nice and at least giving us the wattage today. So that's at least nice. Sometimes it just takes things away all by itself. I've never once taken anything away except for the hotspot temperature just because that confused people. Maybe I should try putting that back in and see if that disappears and reappears. Because that's pretty much the worst pace scenario. That's the hottest part on the whole core.
And a good way to tell if these things are throttling is if it stops getting like 130 to 140 watts on the GPU. And it doesn't really seem to do that. Yeah, they're only taking a little bit. It's not like they're taking the whole thing. Well, I mean, if they wanted to, it's not like you could stop them. それにしてもな。こんなちんたらやってないで。ガバッと国語のとこの水源塗っとっちまえばいいのに。我慢しろよ。もっともっと人間が増えてからでも遅くないさ。じゃないとあいつら絶滅しちまうから。人間がいなく
そうしてくれると助かるぜ。See, there's one of those little starters I was talking about. Now, I wonder if that's just the way the game is, or if it's like AMD, or if it's just my laptop. I always wonder things like that until I get to the end of all my systems. Then I usually have my answer. Well, all I can really do is dump water on him, so I guess we'll see. Oh, there's another stutter. So the whole place basically turned to Starfield. All the water was like, peace. But in any case, I think that's a great spot to stop. So why don't we go ahead? And go wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Sandland on the AZU G15 Advantage at 1080p. And this seemed to do a pretty damn good job. Though, there were some giant stutters at some points and some little stutters at other points. Now, I don't know if that's just it. Doing its usual, I don't really like doing 1080p stutter free thing. Or if it's the game, if it's the laptop, if it's AMD. I don't know. So, we'll see how it does at 1440p in the next video and go from there, I guess. But from what I've seen here, you could effortlessly play this game. It's not like those stutters are game breaking or anything like that. And I never really saw it do those gigantic stutters on anything other than those videos like right as you're going from like a cutscene into actually being able to control your character that seems to be where those big stutters happen and then the little stutters just seem to be like all the shader compilation stutters like you usually get in DirectX 12 games and there's DX11 mode too if anybody who does want to see me do this all again I'm not going to do it right away because I don't want to do the same game twice in a row for that many computers that would be very boring for people people are probably already kind of bored when I do Steam Deck all the way up to everything in the first place but everybody is subscribed to different reasons some people like the Asus G15 Advantage some people like the Steam Deck, some people like my main computer, some people like my secondary OMD computer. There's somebody for everything, so I don't want to disappoint anybody, even if there's only like two or three people that like one of the things. I don't want to disappoint them just because a hundred people like the other thing, you know? I like to try to make everybody happy. It rarely works. It's very hard to make everyone happy, but I still like to put in my best effort to make everyone happy, you know? But in any case, it does run very well. I'm very excited to see how it does at 1440, but to do that, we got to wrap this video up. So let's go ahead and do that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.